Welcome everyone, Gaussum here with another guide. This time we will quickly go through all of the useful keyboard shortcuts that you can use during your games. Let's jump right in. We are going to start with menu. With keys from Q to R we can quickly move through buildings. Next row of keys, from A to F, will allow us to go through goods. And finally, Z to V is for settler stabs. All of those are very convenient and I'm using those constantly throughout the game. Let's move to actual building shortcuts. There are four of those. Shift plus S allow us to pause a building. Shift plus W is for changing the working area. Holding a shift while placing a building will allow you to place multiple buildings of the same type without a need to reselect them. And finally, double delete allow us to crash a building without a need to confirm. Luckily for us, Setters United introduced one exception and that is you cannot crash your last tower without a confirmation, which is very nice. Actually, there's one more shortcut, which is not very popular, but for sure very funny. While holding a delete and clicking on the buildings, you can crash them instantly. Just please be careful with this one. Before we move on, a word about working areas. With Settlers United, the default area is set the best way possible which means that you should avoid changing it on buildings like farms, wineries or even foresters. Of course, it's not always possible, but as a general rule, try to place your buildings in a way that you won't have to adjust the area too much, as every adjustment will reduce its efficiency. Now let's move on to the units. The way shortcuts will work on them depends on your Settlers United settings. As you can see, I've changed the default behavior of geologists and pioneers so they start to work immediately after reaching their destination. If I don't want them to start to work immediately, for example while sending them to my ally territory, I have to send them with Alt button pressed. If you are having problems to turn back pioneers into the settlers, send them with go to work command, which with my settings means that I have to simply send them without any button pressed. There's also a shortcut for making a pioneer street, and that's Shift W. And last one tip about the ships. If you like me checked the start work immediately option, you will have to use Alt to load your specialists into the ship, as otherwise they won't jump in and will try to start work near the ship. Now before jumping to the soldiers, let's talk about binds. While holding Alt and pressing a number, you can bind selected units to a selected number. After first press of selected number, you will select binded units. The second press will move your camera to the units. Personally I'm using that for priests, so I don't lose them in crowd and also when the attack is coming, I can quickly jump to the action. Of course assuming that I've sent a priest to my allies, which by the way you should always do. Now let's talk about the soldiers. Without a doubt, for them, the most important key is control, which forces them to ignore everything and move to the selected location. This is a must-have during the battles, as soldiers by default will focus on attacking enemy units in range, so no matter if you want to retreat, advance or simply change your position, you have to use control. Alt button is for making soldiers patrol, which means that they will be reaching the commandant location and then go back while attacking every spotted enemy on its way. While holding shift, you can make up to 4 waypoints, which they will be reaching one after another. And lastly, if you will press tab while having some soldiers selected, it will select only the wounded ones. Finally, let's talk about general keys. Press B and left click on location to make an alert on the map. Press P to pause the game. Press H to quickly jump to your starting location. N is for resetting the zoom to default. And finally press enter for a chat. And then press tab to quickly rotate between team chat and all chat. Let's not forget about two interface shortcuts. And those are T to show or hide game time. And Ctrl B which shows or hide the amount of buildings that you have. Which is totally useless but it's worth knowing as you might press it accidentally while making an alert. There are also a few shortcuts that will work only in single player games and those are F1 to F3 for speeding up the game and loved by everyone F12 to speed the game time by one minute. Before we end, let me briefly mention that one of the Settlers United players, Insinuate, 
created an application that allows us to basically map every settler's free option to your custom keys. If you would like to know more, you can find more details in Discord S3 Hotkeys channel. That's all for today. Thank you guys for watching and let me know in the comments which of those shortcuts are your favorites. See you in the next video.